Ok. Um. Let's try to at least start uh, this exercise that is moving uh, the React application we have up to now to a multi-page application. So, uh, as you can imagine, the goal is to realize three pages. One is the page with all the questions that we don't have yet, uh, with all the questions in a list, and then clicking on a single question, we will go to the page we have, the one with the single question and the answer. The second page is the page that we have, with the single question and the answer, and clicking on the Add button, instead of opening the form, in the page will open another page with the form for adding uh, an answer. And similarly, the edit button will bring it to the same page, so the other page with the form, as we are doing now, we are reusing the form, but in editing mode. And the other function that was the vote up function will remain the same. So no new page for vote up, because we already were in the, in the right page. And then the third page is the form. The form that we have, we are moving it to the third page. Submitting the form will bring us back to the page listing all the answers for the specific question that we selected. And we should also properly handle wrong URLs, at least by providing a 404 not found page. Hmm? So this is the goal. Let's start, let's avoid for a moment all the questions, the, all the question page, because we'll need creating your components, restructuring a bit the application, so it will take some time. But let's start with what we have. So let's start with a single, the page with a single question and the form, and let's try to put them in different pages. So create different routes for that. And then as soon as done this, we can add, if we have time, another page. But we need to create the all the question page needs to be created, all the components need to be created, the objects, the question object needs to be changed. We need to create an association between each answer and its answer, that each answer is question that we don't have yet, etc. So it needs a little bit more restructuring. So for now, let's start from page, let's say, two and three. And then if we have time, let's add page one. Hmm? So this is, if you remember, the status of our application. Let's install it, yes. Let's install the dependencies and let's see if it still works. Just to check. Okay, and I can still vote up and I can still add things or edit things. And if I do cancel, I return back. So this is working, still working. Okay, so we can stop it and for a while make it not working. So one thing that we, we should at least start add is a link between the answer and the question. We don't have yet, right? We, we know, because we put that in the page, that all these answers are associated to these questions, but we don't have uh, an explicit link in the data between the answer and the questions. And if you are moving to multi-page, multi-question application, we need to have a reference of which answer is associated to which, which question. So all of these needs to be associated with the question number one, because it's the only question that we have. So one way to add this association is add another parameter, like question ID. so that we can store the association between the answer and the question. 
this means that we change here the, um, the construction function and notice that we added here in this position the question ID because score equals zero is the default value and we either give a default value to this or we cannot put it as the last item and having added a question ID before the score now we need to add it wherever we define a new answer to add before the score the ID so here everyone is associated with question number one clearly but also here now we have ans.questionid when we vote up because we change the state and in the state we have answer with that property add answer no problem for now and same things for answer update um, question ID. So when we update the answer and we vote up, we still keep track of the question ID. And we also need to add it to the um, to the form. Um, so here answer date question id and this question id could be a state or can just be like const question id equal props dot answer props dot answer dot question id otherwise for the moment one because it's the only question that we have so right now we have one question and we by default give everything to one clearly this will will need to be something else if we have more than one question it cannot be one it cannot every new answer by default associated with one with the first question they should be associated with a question for which the answer is created mm -hmm. and still we don't have this information now but we will have so this this could also not be a state this could be a variable could be also be a state actually but we are not ever to change this state because always will be either the answer the question ID in the answer if it's editable or the question ID that came from the question for which we are adding an answer so this could be fine like this and we can add here and we should be fine so let's try if it's, it's true that we are fine before doing other edits so here no changes if i change something here everything works and if i add something still works and we don't have errors so Quick check, everything seems to work. Good. Okay. Now, let's go in the more interesting part. Roots. So, which is the first thing we need to do? Clearly install. npm install react router dom. And the second thing after installing it is, well, importing, yes, clearly. Let me do after importing. We have to wrap in, in browser Yes, we have to wrap. So, does the say we have to wrap the entire application to a browser router? This is generally true in, let's say, 99.9% .9 of cases is true uh, but it's not mandatory hmm? you can have like a browser router here if you want hmm? so wrapping 
not the entire application, just a part of the application. This is possible, it works. It's not really recommended. Uh, why it's possible? It's possible because the header and this container will, in our case, will not change according to the page we are in. It will always be the name of the application with a blue color. Hmm? They will be static. And also the layout will be the same. Hmm? So these are candidate for one of those root layout, route layout, layout route that it was present in the slides. So that is an option going through the layout style route. So define this as general layout information and use it. Or keep it static and say, okay, all the routing is actually happening at this level. The answer, the form, etc. This just to show to tell you that there are these options. Then the vast majority of the case, it's better not to mix. It's also easier not to mix different concepts together. So what is typically done is what the slides say, that is the browser router needs to contain the entire application. And we need to import them clearly now. Browser router from React router DOM. Okay, then next step. What is needed with, within a browser router? Singular or plural? Plural. We need a container that are the routes. And within the routes, we need to specify the single route. Okay? And we need to import them, clearly. So, routes and route. Then, what we need to do now? Uh, mm, almost. The find the default path is one thing, but in general, first, before writing something here, what we need to do? Defining is the right verb. What we need to define? Def what means define the pages? <clears throat> yes, what you mean with define the pages? We need to write components or URLs. Exactly. We need to define the routes. Which are the URL we are going to use? Because we can say, okay, the URL is um, path... Uh, It could be, well, the home page, it could be clearly slash, and the, the page, how we call the page? We call it answers, or, and then the form is add answer, or is answer add. We need to define this. Maybe in a way that is consistent within the application, that is easier both for us, to say, okay, the structure is this. If I need to add, we'll say answer add, and then answer edit, answer whatever, and also for, for the uh, person that is using the application to, to remember to extract again a meaning from the URL. Hmm? So we, let's try to write here as a comment the routes we are going to have hmm? of the entire application including the page we are not going to to do yet so the index that will be the root 
will be all the questions. Right? We, we're not going to do it ra now, but we will have that. Then, so let's do different. This is the path, and this is the name of the page, in this case, index. Then what we need, how we, which is the path of the single, of the page representing the single question with its answer? Question, singular, plural. For instance, that. So, questions slash question ID. That is the page with all the, uh, with the question ID question text, question info, and its answer. That's good. It's the page of the questions, and we don't have answer without a question, so it's right to call it questions so between the collection all the questions I will pick the one with a specific ID now we have just one but but still it could be uh, it will make sense actually but it also um, weird uh, not having a root home page right a root page so um, in a realistic application you would probably have an index page that is the home page maybe with a summary of multiple information and then you will have a questions page with just all the questions for instance maybe in the home page we have the top questions or the most voted question or whatever the home page and then Yes, you have a slash questions page in which you have all the questions, just the questions. In this case, we don't have the home page, so we are merging the two. But yeah, absolutely makes sense. In a bigger and more, uh, and larger application, more, let's say, uh, in six hours, we can do also the home page, but, uh, okay? But yeah, it makes absolutely sense. Then, which other page we have? With other page we have, we have still at least one page add question, add answer, yes. Uh, URL for add answer. What can be? It's fine. Mm. No answer ID. Because at answer, we don't have an ID yet. So. OK, do you like it? The page, the form to add a new answer. Other option. Uh, it's fine for me. Other option for this could be? No, no, another alternative to this URL. Yes, we need also the update, but. Sorry? New answer. New answer could be, or, you know, this is design choice. Or could be, if you want to follow the same structure, we had questions, and I need your questions, and we can have answers, slash new, or slash add, for instance. Another option, or new answer was another option. So this is choices that you have to make. And then we need also a root that we bring to the same page, to a very similar page, with render similar, the same components for editing or updating. And so this for consistency could be questions, question ID, edit answer, and now we need 
the answer ID. And this is the form uh, to update the answer, the answer, the answer. And these are the routes we need. Oh, well, no, we need another one. Which is another one? Yes, the not found. Hmm? These are the routes we need. Hmm? So for, for the moment, we skip the first one and we start doing the others. So, here. Questions slash question ID. This is the path, which is the element. When we are in that route, which element we should render? Um, question components is not a single element. But yes, we need to render this, basically. Question description plus answers. Because it's, it's the, the page we are we're interested in. Just a question about the, the routes that we find very uh, I, I think that we've seen during the class that we can have like parameters in the, in the, in the path, like uh, date equal or something equal. Couldn't we use something similar here where we define the ID, the question ID or the answer ID this way instead of adding different path? You're saying something like this. Yeah. What's the difference between something like this, right? Yeah. For the um, add, for instance. Well, this work clearly. The difference is again more semantic. Um, these are typically used for search. These are called search parameter for, for a reason, right? So this is not really search. This is an action, right? It's adding or editing something. Uh, these are more often used for searching stuff. Hmm? So if you want to search to filter something within the page, like for the filters, you can imagine the filter in the lab, you can imagine film, question mark, filter equal all. Because it's a filter on the same page, in a way. Now the filter on the same content. In this case, we have actions. I want to add an element. I want to edit an element. I want to delete an element. And actions are typically associated with URL. Hmm? But it's actually a choice. It's actually not wrong doing this. But, but again, these are called search parameter because the idea is that you use that for search and not for other, um, other, other stuff, like in this case. Uh, nothing that is related to search, okay? And then it depends on the, on the style in which you compose the URL. This URL here that we are doing are sort of similar to, inspired by the REST formalism. They said for RESTful something, structured uh, representation, hmm? that specifies actually how to form a URL. Um, and so this is sort of inspired to that, but we could have said also that we have, uh, I don't know, edit answer slash question ID slash answer ID, right? Because it's the answer of this question and the, as the answer is that one. It's, it's choices, but we came up, you came up also with some of these, so it sounds, it sounds good, it sounds reasonable. But yeah, URL are preferable for action for pages with new content, and the other is for search mainly, as the name say, okay? Okay, back here, which elements uh, we should represent in, in, the, in this page? We are, this is the, the URL for this page. Which elements should we represent here? We said question, description, and answers, right? 
So remove them in the first instance. Right? And then I need a single, always a single root. OK. And everything else here? What do we do with these things? These are outside the route. What do we do with the header and the container? Because in this moment, this URL will show us just this. Without the header, well, also the button, without the header. And without the container, it would just be the content. What do we do with the header and the container? We can put them in a layout route, hmm, for instance. Or, or, as I said just before, everything this. So we can define a layout route that has no path. It's just elements that are these. No, yes. In the right line. What? Okay. Okay. Here. And we still need uh, one single row root here and here. Okay. And all of these now actually need to be nested so these other roots need to be nested within the external route that is the layout route so it's it's a children of this route is a children is a child of the layout route because every route should be inside that layout route uh, what we are missing in the layout route? The links, well, well, probably not here, the links, but what we are missing? Outlet. Outlet. We need to tell the children root, in this case one, where to render themselves. And here, where they are rendering? Are they rendering after Navader? Are they rendering within the container? Are they rendering after the container? It's not written. So, we don't know. But we know that they should render within the container. So, the header, the container, within the container, we need to render everything within the container. The table, the form, but the header will remain stable, always. Hmm? So, okay. So now, since all, all of this is pretty messy, also to read, we can move. Uh, this element in a component, maybe. So question component is surely candidate. We can have another function called single question, just for cleanness. It's not for, for any other reason. That will have the, not music, but the, 
the content of so return <coughs> will return question description and answer. And in, in this moment, we are just ignoring the fact that we can have multiple questions. So we are not getting the um, question ID in this page because we just have one question. So whatever, it will always be this page. And we need to export this. And uh, let's remove the add answer and the update answer because they will not be in that page anymore they will be in another page and we need to pass these props now vote up answer and even the question will be a props and we need to import answer not from here from answer component okay we just move things from from there to here and we need to pass the question the answer and the vote up so here the elements will be single question that will have a question the props and the vote up we have the finite in question components that we already had just for not having everything here basically hmm? but it makes sense to be in question components because it's for the question components actually are the single question component should be single because it's not for all the questions are the component for representing the information the single component the single question okay and why we cannot call this question because we cannot Why call it single question? Mm. Yes, that's uh, let's say a philosophical answer. That could be, but um, if I define it as question, I can define it as a question, right? I can write it question an export question and I can do it like this and here say that this is question um, why this but this is not working I will tell you because this is already an object called question mm -hmm. so keep in mind these are just they are components but they are JavaScript variable that you import and export JavaScript function so you cannot have two objects with the same name hmm? so this one we can call it single question so i i didn't call it single question for well it's also more specific because it's a single question but um also to avert, to avoid the same naming a name clash hmm? so this should be, should be single question this should be single question and single question okay and apparently we have done with this sorry oh yes absolutely answers equal answers okay and then we can start defining another route that is for instance the uh, 
um, form. So the form for adding an answer. Which elements do we need? Here? Form. Yes, the answer form that we didn't have here because it was in the answer form. And which properties does the answer form have? Um, so the answer form needed uh, the answer well in case of let's, let's, let's keep the edit just focus on the add for the add it needed the add answer props and uh, the last ID these are the two pieces of information we need for adding. Hmm? Then there is all the editing, but after. So for adding, we had decided this is one always, so no need to pass it. We need the last ID and we need the add answer. So two props. Hmm? The add answer is easy because it's already here. And the last ID. Uh, but we don't okay we don't we have computed it last time the last city we have computed it in answer components i think yes here we said that the last city is all the answer the slice and then we get the idea of the last one assuming that the last city will be really the last one in the array mm -hmm. so we can copy this for sure and say the last ID is this because answer is we are in up so we have answers we can slice from the end get the only results of the operation and then get the ID hmm? this is the last ID of the answer to add okay so last time we did this we have another option to do that so that we we can think a little bit especially thinking that now we will have multiple questions so answer belonging to multiple questions which is the other option without the assumption we made last time to get the last id in that array which is the operat the mathematical operation to get so the last id will be a number right the smaller or the biggest the biggest so which is the mathematical operation to get the biggest number in a set of numbers max, max. math dot max do you remember max how it works maybe not no that's the nice thing it doesn't it gets an array unfortunately <laughs> was well, just numbers in in the in the argument like one two three four whatever without an array okay so it doesn't get an array so of answers so math dot max answers dot map Yes. Yes. But there is no accumulator needed here. So, yeah. Probably a little bit tricky, but yes. Could be done also with the reuse. Reduce, I think. Uh, so, map giving you a new array, and then we spread the array because m max doesn't want an array with just numbers. 
Hmm? So we get all the d, we get the maximum one, whatever is the order of the array. Hmm? So we destroy the assumption we had the last time that the last d will be the last one in the array, the maximum d could be whatever in any position of the array, doesn't matter, we just get the max one. Huh? So this is an improvement with respect to last time. Okay, so we can try if we, it's not complete, clearly, but we can try if it's at least working and what is not working, so that we see in which state we are. So for instance, uh, answer component did not export answer. Yes, it is. Oh, because it's the default export. OK, so like this. So in question components, the default, it, we need a default import, not a named import, so without the parentheses. Let's try again. OK. So clearly, we don't have anything in the, row, in the root. OK, and, and, and the console say, no routes match location slash, because we didn't. Uh, our first location is questions one, for instance. Hmm? And indeed, we have everything in location in question one. What happens if I press this add? Well, it showed the form, because we didn't remove that part of the code, but submitting the form give us an error because we didn't pass the add answer prop through the form to this new page because it expected not to be here anymore. Hmm? But in this moment, it's still here. And the vote up instead should continue to work without any problem as it is. And the edit has the same problem. It appears correctly, but when we press the button, it's not working because we didn't pass the information to the edit. Okay, so what happens if I write question two, for instance? There is no question two, but actually we didn't get the ID from the uh, URL in this moment. So whatever number you put here, also whatever thing you put here, it will always show this because we never check that the ID is actually the ID of the question. We just said we have one question, whatever ID is a variable as an ID, whatever ID, we never check, and so show, show me the, the only question that I have, that is this one. Moving to multi-question, we will need to change also this part, clearly. But right now, this is just a variable that is sort of useless, because we have one question, and whatever it is, we show that okay let's go in the uh, slash add answer and there is the form very good and now we can write something and press add and i'm pressing add and nothing happens so let's check if at least the answer has been added so let's delete the url because we don't have a way to go back from here and and this is a refresh the page, so we, we don't know, actually, if the answer was added. So why? What do we need to do to make this working? So we have no errors, but why this not go back? You have to use navigate when we click on add. Exactly. We need to say, after this information is here, I press add, I need to go back where it was. I need to associate a meaning, uh, a behavior to these two buttons that currently they don't have because they use set, show, etc. But here there is nothing to, to show anymore. Okay? So apparently everything is fine here. So in the answer form, we need here, okay, we need to. On submit here, when it's add, we should import use navigate. Uh, 
and here we can say const navigate equal use navigate and when we submit the form in the add mode we can say navigate where do we want to navigate to what we're going to write there the previous page so in, in this so slash question question ID how do we write question ID answer like this no Sorry, wrong. We can do this if we want. Answer dot uh, question ID is an option, hmm? right? And this will navigate to answer and and the question ID we selected. Hmm? We came from so one in the URL question slash one. So let's see if this is working, first of all. So let's go back to this page, add, uh, no, sorry. We need also to link the, the button to the right place. Add answer. And we go back with the answer we added. Okay, another option, if you want not to um, add the entire URL, you can also say to navigate, and this is also available in links, something like this, relative, relative, What this means to you? No, relative not true, relative um, path. No, means the equivalent of... What does CD point point? the previous we go back one but we go back one so without this we will go back one in the component three the one defined in app that's the default with relative path we say we go one back relative to the path so we are in questions one add answer we go back one questions one just one step before that's another option if you want to write everything would just go back one or twice you can do this hmm? it's another option hmm? it depends of the we go back to the previous route hmm? that in this case is still this one uh, no actually you go back to the layout that in this case is still this one in this case but if we have another page like the root page with all the questions we we'll go back to the root so typically when you use the double dot is because you want to move in the path in the url path not because you want to move in the tree of the components because it depends how you define the tree of the components if you change your components you switch your components you after before or after you change the the navigation of the entire site so 
is always related to the path in the URL. Okay, uh, now we need also to fix the link. Hmm? So, look what happens here. We have the table and this show form, the entire show form with all the keys, the last ID, all the reasoning we did last time to end all proper filling that form disappear. It's not needed anymore. We just need the button. And the button will not have a one click. But it needs to use a which components we need to use instead of the button? Link. So we can write link here. But in React Bootstrap, the text will not be visible. We can add a link here, like the button will be inside the link. But this is not HTML5 valid. So this is not correct in HTML5. You cannot add a button within a link. It will work, but it's not valid. So we need to do this. We need to use normal bootstrap and say that this is a button with BTN success and with the add within. So we just need to remove the button as a component and make the link looks like a button. Because otherwise it's not either is not working or is uh, not valid HTML5. So, and the link to, what we need to link to, which is the address we need to go? The add, this is the add one. And what I write here? No, okay. We are, okay. we are in the question page. Now, we are in the other component. This is the question page. This is where we have the table. This is the add button that we press in the page to show the form. So that button should link to the page with the form, right? So which is the URL of the page with the form? We can write either, exactly, we can write either the full path, questions, question ID, add answer, and then we need to write slash, etc. or without a slash, it's if it's relative to the current page, since we are in questions one, we can just write add answer. So, oh, and we need to import the things we are using. And we don't need this anymore, and we need to import link. And maybe run again. Oh, sorry. Okay. So now pressing add will bring us to the right page. And so if we insert everything and press add, we go back there. And if we go here and press cancel, nothing happens because we have to navigate away or to link cancel to the previous page. So again, answer form here. Instead of props cancel, that we, well, either we, need, we modify props cancel, it was a method, or we do the same things we have done in, um, for the button. So making this button a link, btn, btn, danger, 
And so we are removing quite a lot of things that we have done last time. And these will be linked to And we need to go back, also in this case. So this could be um, questions slash question ID, as before. No. OK, we can use on click and then in the props cancel that I don't know where we are. Where that was probably here, and we need to pass it. So we had the props that was canceled. Or my Oh yes, we can also do that. Yes. We can do on click and then navigate. In terms of performance does some change? Slightly, I think, slightly, but not clearly incredibly because it's one line in one link in one page. Uh, but clearly you have a, a, a button with an on-click that use navigate, so you need to import use navigate and use it properly when this is actually more a job of a link, so something that you click to go, to go there. So this is a link, this is something that the person click. Use navigate is something that the developer wants to do as a result of an operation, okay? Well, this is a cancel. No, oh yes, with the add, if, if the operation is not going well, you can use use navigate. But we, we already use it, no? Uh, when you do the add, use navigate to go back. Or if it's an error, you can go back to the root page or to another error page. You can decide other path. But is is after the operation that you as a developer do? That is calling the database, adding the the answer and then deciding what to, to do on spec. Hmm. So here uh, we can write two questions, etc., or we can use the same thing we used before. Relative path. Exactly as in navigate. Works the same that way. Dot, double points, relative path, go back one in the URL. Sorry, the, can you? We need to get it from the, so here we, well, we have, we have it from props.answer, the question ID. Uh, or we can get from the URL with the use params. But in, in this moment, we, we just had the one question, so. So we have here, like we did for, for the navigate. We have this information here. Okay, so let's check if this is yes. And I need to import link. I imported link. Oh, he's thinking. Oh, it changed the port. Okay. Anyway, okay. Hmm. So if we press cancel, we go one back in the URL. So we remove add answer and we go to one, basically. Okay. So this is the add. We can do something very, very similar with the edit. Hmm. So we need a similar route that will be edit answer and now we need the answer ID and here we will have the update answer we don't need the last ID anymore because it's 
But what do we need for updating an answer? Do we need anything else to update an answer? The answer, but we here we have the, fu the full set of answers. So, we will need to pass the answer. Who needs to pass the answer? Which element in this page needs to pass the answer? The specific button, the specific answer. So here, we need to edit this button to pass through use location the object of the answer. But what problem we have with the object of the answer currently? Use location does the serialization in string of the object we pass through. What we have in the answer now that cannot be deserialized from a string? The date. So we need to change our data structure so that the answer will be string and we create DJS on when we need it to manipulate dates. Because or, or here, we take the JS, we format it, and then we go back. Hmm? So we need, when we press this, to deserialize the object, the data from the object, in a string, in one way or the other. Either changing the answer, function construction, or here saying, OK, this is, when we pass it, we go back from the JS to string with format, and then we get a string and we re rebuild the JS object in the form. That's an option. Or the other is just to, to change the construction function, use always string, except when we want to display things and when we, or modify things, and then we can add um, the, the DGS again. Hmm? But they will need more correction and destruction of the DGS object than in the current version due to this. Hmm? So here we need to pass a state in this link. Hmm? State equal answer current answer, whatever is called the variable, and in the form we can get it through user location state. Hmm? And we don't have time to do the, that completely, so let me show, uh, but I will publish, I will put it online, a version that has, and let, let, let us do for a second, that is easy, the not found page. Hmm? Element, let's call it not found. And we can, well, clearly not like this. And we can then build a component here that is called not found a component dot jsx that will do a function. Okay, export default function not found return <coughs> what do we return in the not found well for instance we can say that we have a paragraph that is uh, a lead as a class name that say nothing to see to so see here this is not the page you were looking for, for instance, the root. Hmm? So something like this, and here we can import it. We can delete this because they are not needed anymore, and we can import not found from not found component and if we now write whatever we are going to nothing to see here this is not the root and also if we go in the root we see the default error page right okay
Okay, so uh, I will complete this and put it on um, on GitHub, maybe in a separate project so that you have both the version in class and the complete one. What is missing here is this edit, so this passing the state, the, the page with the list of our, of our all answer that is pretty trivial to do actually, and most importantly, handling this number. Question one, question two, because if we have multiple questions, we need to handle this, this number, a property, with use params. So what we'll do, what will the application do is that this page will receive all the questions. The state with all the questions. And then this component will get the question associated with the number written in the URL. Okay? There is no other way to get in the rector router to get this number outside of the components and to render the content of the page. Hmm? So we cannot say, oh, let's pass directly the question with this number to the component. We need to pass all the questions and then filter to get only the one that we need for. And to filter to get all the answer that we need for. We cannot do this in app. Hmm? So we need to pass the entire state, basically of all the answer and all the question to every single page with React Router in this way. Hmm? So this will be the other things to note. When you, if you want to, to look again at the, at the solution, the complete solution, check these things, but it's in the app, we will pass all the question and then we will get the single hmm, filter for the single ID within the component that renders this page. Hmm? And if we change the num number here, we will see the correct Question, if we put a question that is a, like question five and we have all the two questions, we'll see a, a narrow page that is different from the not found page because there is a page that respects that route but just no information to display in the page. And so we need a separate error handling for that. Okay? And you will have the lab to do some exercise for this. This is still quite a lot of things uh, and it's also mostly close the things about react that we are doing we will need still to do use effect in a few weeks and next week we are starting working on the server so mm, we are changing again uh, technology but we are moving towards the the end of the course and the majority of the concept of the things we already done this so now it's time to consolidate them and adding a few more things okay so, see you next Tuesday, and there is the lab on Thursday on the React Router, so you can experiment, and if you have any questions, I'm still here for the next 10 minutes. Have a nice week. <laughs>